Hi guys, it's mid uh, May, which means it's uh, smack middle in the pineapple guava season here in Melbourne. And as you can see, they're, uh, they're all over this tree. One of uh, four fajobos that I have. They're at different sizes, as you can see, right? Really small to really big. Some of the big ones already fell. We had those uh, a few days ago. There's a couple of mid-sized ones. I'm not a huge fan of the Fijoa. They're okay. They're okay because they're a good filler. Right? Uh, one of the main reasons is they're very small. There's not much flesh. A bit like the Tamarillo. But it's... Um, Bountiful, I like that. I like how there's so much. See them all back there? Wow. <laughs> so, so how do you know when they're ready? Well, when they drop. That's one way. And the second way, you know, is when you shake the tree. So, I made this video just to show you what happens when you shake the, the tree when uh, it's the season. Watch this. I'm gonna grab it from here and give it a shake, right? From here, watch this. All right. <laughs> Just fall. Just a, a slight shake, nothing major. And that's how you know they're ready. So, it's about 10 that fell, different sizes. So the little ones, I discard. They only save the, the medium and large ones. Right, these little ones here, you don't want that. Just give them back to the tree and so on. So I'll give it another shake on this side here. Right. So the smallest ones, I just give them back to the tree. Right, these little ones. It's just hardly anything in them. And we keep these for us, right? That's a, that's a typical harvest for one day from this guy here. He's had a big, a big crop this year and last year. Actually, actually, this one has had a good crop for the last five years. That one down there, he took a year off. Not much at all. Very, very little. Then we have the the different variety at the top here. This has a different shape. These are long and elongated. I'll show you the difference with uh, the regular ones. Right, this is the regular pineapple guava. Hang on, this is better here. Look, see the difference? In, uh, in the shape so I don't know what variety that is these were just seedlings I got from Bunnings six seven eight years ago didn't pay attention they were really small in pots and there you go yeah so again very different to the standard one see the shape very different yeah so we have this one as well in the driveway slightly different variety to the three others which are all the same the best thing I find about the pineapple guava is uh, its cold tolerance you could grow these 
not only in a warm temperate climate but in a cool temperate climate so we're talking Tasmania ACT South Island of New Zealand and probably in the UK well Brett's doing it and Joe that are in London so there's evidence that you can do it so that's the the best feature that I find with uh, pineapple guava I'm not sure how they do in the tropics though that one I'm not sure about I've never heard anyone growing them in the true tropics all right guys that's uh, a quickie on the pineapple guava here in uh, our cool to warm variable temperate climate in Melbourne as you can see the bananas do fine here as we come into winter not a problem the leaves get shredded but the, the fruit is unaffected and before we go that's the oldest Fajoa tree I have which I have had now for um, oh gosh at least 15 16 years and that's starting to drop its uh, its fruit as well one here and one over there oh and one here that's been eaten by the critters so the the animals have latched onto the idea of this never used to happen <laughs> this has only been happening the last three years so now the pineapple guavas aren't safe either from whoever is responsible I'm guessing this is a possum Wow yeah you can never have enough fruit trees but in this um, case I think I have too many pineapple guavas but the good news is the um, the wildlife take care of the excess so there's gonna be enough for everyone right all right guys thanks for watching please like and share if you've enjoyed the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we'll see you from the next one coming up real soon I've got to watch where I step here because they're all over the ground bye guys fig season is over too the leaves have almost come off the figs actually stepping all over the the leaves here which need to be raked up